because we hit one of our goals during one of my tech live streams, I used the Galaxy S8 as my flagship phone for about a week. It slowly started to get worse and I started to like it less and less. Apps crashed on it pretty regularly, the microphone on it was not very good, it just simply could not replace what my iPhone could do. I tried to sell it locally for quite a while and I'm sorry, I cannot do giveaways yet, I don't have that kind of money, but we'll get there. The best deal I found was actually a trade for this Jet Black iPhone 7 Plus. Jet Black was originally the color I wanted for my iPhone 7, but because demand of it was so high, especially the Plus model of Jet Black was not even available for essentially everyone on launch day, that dream quickly went away, and I heard that Jet Black scratched easy, and I preferred clean aluminum backs anyway, so I was okay with getting the matte black version of the iPhone 7, and that's been a great iPhone for me. By far, my favorite Apple product of all time, and only at Apple stores have I ever really held and experienced a Jet Black iPhone. So it's been interesting now, having all this time to just kind of analyze how it feels and how it works differently. Not that it's a completely different phone, of course it is an iPhone 7 Plus, it's exactly the same, but the really, really fine polish they give aluminum, which is bizarre because this feels like glass. Like honestly, holding it feels different than holding a regular aluminum iPhone. You know, the gold, the rose gold, the silver, all of those I've held before and they feel kind of similar. The aluminum has a very specific texture that's kind of rough. Jet Black is extraordinarily softer and it's surprising to me that this is aluminum because it honestly feels just the same as the glass on the front of the device. Now, yes, all the rumors you've heard about Jet Black being extremely delicate are definitely true. When held in direct sunlight, I can see every little scratch the previous owner put on this, but there's nothing overly noticeable. As in, when I'm indoors and I'm just analyzing it, it looks fine, it feels fine, you can't feel the ridges. But yeah, when you put it in direct sunlight, you can see how it ages. And I'm kind of okay with trying out this Jet Black iPhone because I know the iPhone edition is going to have a glass back. And of course, for this channel, I'm gonna have to review it, and that is likely going to become my favorite Apple product of all time. And of course, my daily driver, so I figured now would be a good time to kind of get used to having glossy backs. Using the S8 for that week kind of got me into the idea. I was like, you know, there are a lot of fingerprints now, but glass backs aren't as bad as I thought. It's also been incredibly handy to have two smartphones given. I use Verizon Unlimited, which means all of my internet, all of our live streams, all of my videos uploads are done via my iPhone's hotspot. And when you're using a hotspot, you can't use AirDrop. So like when I'm filming cutaway shots for videos, it's nice to have a really capable camera that can AirDrop to my Mac. But now using the Jet Black iPhone for the past couple days has made me hold my phone a little bit differently. When you have a phone that's so delicate, you start to treat it a tad more like jewelry. And I guess I feel a bit more comfortable with resting my matte black iPhone 7 on hard surfaces. I don't mind tossing it around, but once you have something like this, you treat it a lot more delicately. And it's a shame too, because people who get Jet Black typically put a case right on top of it, because of course they want to preserve it, but then you don't get to experience an Apple product's true beauty. It's absolutely awesome to have this glossy back when it's completely clean, that you know, you kind of polish with your t-shirts often, to go alongside these also glossy white AirPods. And I'm very, very excited because I have black pods on the way. They take a very, very long time to get here, but when they do come, my wireless headphones are going to match my iPhone beautifully, and that's when you get this beautiful ecosystem of products that aesthetically are so pleasing, and I think it's unparalleled with the competition. And I have to say, Jet Black is simply something that Apple Sheep just like to drool over. It reminds me back of the iPhone 4 days back when we had glass backs, and it's kind of interesting to see that this year we are finally making our return to that. I love that with Jet Black, the cell bands are virtually invisible, you cannot see them, and under the right conditions, you can't even see the writing on the back. You can't see iPhone or designed by Apple. I even read that some people were putting dbrand skins on their iphone 7 in jet black and decided they didn't want them and when they removed the skins it took the writing off some people were complaining about that and i was like that sounds kind of awesome can you imagine having an iphone that didn't have the apple logo on it didn't have the iphone writing and it was just you know a brandless smartphone like the essential phone coming out i like that idea it's like apple we know what this is i think there's very few people on earth who doesn't know what the term iphone is i don't know that's just me i just think that would be a very beautiful device in this jet black along with iOS 11 just coming out really makes me feel like I have a brand new refreshed smartphone even though it's exactly the same it's the exact same hardware they came out at the same time and this simply feels a lot more comfortable to hold in a hand and as I've said before Apple is really good at designing products that you like to feel Samsung did that with the Galaxy S8 it's very smooth it's very comfortable in your hand and it's kind of like your own little fidget device how you can just twirl it like this in your hand because the edges are so comfortable and to people saying that Apple is reusing
getting their same iPhone model every year, as in this hasn't changed since the iPhone 6. It's because Apple takes changing the hardware of the iPhone very seriously. They are not going to change it until they find a better way to do it. And when you look at Samsung, following the same footprint in the same edges of an iPhone, it's because both companies are realizing this is the most comfortable way to have it. We could go back to flat edges like we did on the iPhone 5, but would that be better or would it just be different? Personally, I feel that Jet Black was a last minute idea by Apple because while there were all these amazing new features added with the iPhone 7, because aesthetically it didn't look that much different from the iPhone 6, no one was going to be interested in it because they'd be like, oh, it's, uh, it's the same smartphone all over again, except they removed the headphone jack. So that's why I think on the iPhone 7, they made those minor changes like encasing the aluminum around the camera bulge. So it's a noticeable change. I don't think functionally that makes a huge difference, but aesthetically it's more pleasing and you can't anymore say that aesthetics don't matter on a smartphone. The way it looks is quite important nowadays because functionally almost all of our smartphones are doing the exact same thing, just in different ways. This year especially, everything is about being the most beautiful. That's why we're removing bezels so much. I think Apple realized this and at the last minute decided to start ultra polishing these aluminum iPhones to make this beautiful finish so that it looks like glass. It's limited edition. They don't have this for 32 gigabyte models. You have to get 128 or 256. It comes in this very special black boxing and I'm really, really happy to keep it within my ecosystem. Now hopefully I can sell my matte black version because iOS users tend to spend more money. That's not a stereotype. That is just statistics. People spend way more money on the iOS store than on the Play Store, even though it is a smaller portion of the market. Again, I really wish I could do giveaways, guys. So I know you're going to ask me to give away my old phone or give away Samsung phones that I review. I want to review upcoming products for you guys. And for me to do that, I need to sell. I need to sell what I'm not using. I can't afford to just hand things out. Don't you guys want me to review the iPhone edition? Don't you want me to review the iMac Pro? Those are pricey and I'd love to review them, but just got to wait until this channel is a little bigger before we do giveaways. But anyway, yeah, I know it's kind of the end of the game for the iPhone 7, but now that I finally have a jet black, I can say I think this is my new favorite color. And I'm very excited for the iPhone edition to have that glass back, true glass, not just polished aluminum, that adds the functionality of wireless charging and incorporating the cell bands underneath the phone and not noticeably on the top and bottom. What do you guys think of jet black? Is it not functional to have something so delicate? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.